9th December 1899. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this tiny cogwheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve a function that upon reflection we might be set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging his body, his machine, <clears throat> until those children of the soul turn a new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart? As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself, this is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Cool. surprise there, really. So, I'm going to go ahead and retain my attitude of no expectations. Where are they? Where are my children? Where are you, are, Slanders? You know the guy is so well enough. And I guess at this point there really is no point I'm trying to guess <coughs> August 31st, eight, uh, 31st 1899 children really are the most wonderful useful creatures the unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes it appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize the source but drifts like dust to the air and lodges pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Then we will be sending their comrades and afterwards to scrape and free the cooling mess. Survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex of the pipes. I smile, tell them I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. <laughs> Dick.
There we go. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Manadus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Fucking shit. December 1st, 1899, there was a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What did you get born holding, ever so painful for mummy dear, but grass so hard it, was in the little screaming red fist. Later, you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins, and you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling little Beth, what am I become? Dun dun dun! Alright. Let's check this out. Alright, so I gotta keep alert. There's undoubtedly a pig man dicking around down here. at low pressure now. Pretty sure this guy would say otherwise. Right, Senor Lobster. So I yanked that one out. Is there 
any more of these things. Stop doing that. 